Grant Gavin. I'm the owner of Remax Panache. Um, I'm a property investor and entrepreneur, uh, but I'm also a public speaker. Um, and that's part of why I'm doing this experience. Well, today has got a couple of objectives. Um, I think the first one is just to test people's reaction to giving based on the communication that the person standing at the traffic lights gives to the person in the car. And the idea is trying to take the message and change it from the standard traffic light, homeless man sign, all about me, me, I need, I need, and we're turning it around slightly. And we're now talking directly to the person in the car. And I want to see if that makes a difference, if it makes an impact on the person sitting there. And I just think, you know, until you've put yourself in somebody's shoes, um, I'm hoping maybe this will change my perception on how I view um, a homeless person standing at, at the traffic light. Okay, we're ready to go. I must say I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive. Um, I guess I'm just a little nervous somebody might recognize me. Can you believe it? Um, I don't want anybody to think that this is you know, disrespectful or you know, maybe someone's taking the mickey. Um, there's, there's genuine learning here and I think it's a genuine experience that I need to experience. It's going to help me to teach others. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens. Very few people make eye contact. It's quite amazing. Suddenly there's a reason to turn away, to look away. It's just too uncomfortable. They don't realize how uncomfortable it is standing here. <laughs> Tell you what. I wrote a blog uh, recently about privilege. And I got to understand all my privileges. And, and one line in my blog that I wrote was, I've never had to beg for food or money. I just think by putting myself in this position today, and I'm trying to really <laughs> do it properly. I, mean, I didn't eat a lot last night, I haven't eaten this morning, I stayed up late, so I'm feeling really tired and I'm going to go stand in the blazing sun. Uh, it can't be easy and I must be honest, I'm not looking forward to it. But I know I'm going to learn a lot from this experience and I hope to share that with others as well. I've made friends with the homeless guys that are in the area and I've told them that anything that I make today, uh, if it's successful, I'm going to give the money to them. It's, it's putting yourself in somebody else's shoes and, and walking a couple of miles in those shoes before you cast any sort of judgment. I mean, you don't know why that person is standing at that traffic light, but we so easily judge when we drive past. Mm -hmm. And maybe after today, you know, I'll just appreciate all those things in my life a lot better. And, you know, everybody has got that deep-rooted sense of giving, but we've all got to give to ourselves first. We've all got to help our families first. And we're all, you know, we're all going through phases in our lives sometimes where you know, we need a little extra money. You know, I've often thought, well, you know, if I needed money, I'd go and find a job. And here this person is standing on the side of the road. But as I said, I don't know what's happened in that guy's life that's led him to that point in time. I'm very, very hungry. I'm actually shaking a bit because I haven't had breakfast. And um, yeah, I needed this water badly. But um, I'm glad I did it. I don't think it's anything to do with the money and how much you collected. It's more people's reactions to you how you feel as well doing it. Um, and also, when I started to get a little bit more confident the fact that I was there, I started making eye contact more with people. I think at the beginning, I was avoiding eye contact. At the beginning, I was very uncomfortable. And especially if it was somebody I knew, I was almost like, I didn't want them to know it was me, you know? Um, but a very, a very good exercise.